It is a community garden project that takes the access to food to the, the people rather than the people trying to find the access. And so we do 24 school and community gardens in Independence. We've had tomatoes, lettuce, onions, uh, cabbage, turnips, beets, green beans. Well, one of the big benefits of community gardens is the socialization. And uh, it's become a social event. It brings a lot of different uh, individuals together, diversity. You know, we've got a lot of diverse personalities uh, that live here at Fairmount Plaza. It's just been a plus, a win-win situation. The way they share with the other tenants uh, that may not have a, a garden plot up here, the produce has been abundant every year, and it gets better and better every year. So we're real proud of this garden. So this is our Independence Garden at the Independence Boys and Girls Club. And Miss Joni from the Health Department, she comes in each week and does gardening club with the kiddos. So the kids get to plant all kinds of different fruits and vegetables, and they also are completely in charge of maintaining these beds. So they come in and water every few, a few, every few days, I guess. They come back here and water, and they get to do all their planting and harvesting on their own. So when the kids get to harvest their fruits and vegetables from our garden here, we take them into the kitchen, into the Boys and Girls Club kitchen, and we actually turn them into spaghetti sauce, we turn them into salads and different, so they get to eat their product. I think each one of the children have taken back not only skills, but they've also tried to make gardens of their own at home. I really think it's a rewarding program that not only teaches them how to grow their own food, but it also has an opportunity for the older kids to mentor the younger kids in this club. Trying to eat healthy, uh, can be expensive and this is a very financially feasible way to maintain a healthy diet. A lot of times we don't know where our food comes from and uh, when you grow your own you have control and otherwise you don't. Tomatoes for example at the grocery store I mean my goodness <laughs> for the five dollars a year look at the tomatoes that are growing here people would pay bucks for so it's nice and, and plus the fact if you want a BLT and you don't you can just come up here to the garden and pick a tomato they taste so much better all the produce does when it's homegrown definitely it's fun to walk up and see all the pretty plants and the fresh vegetables and knowing that we did it <laughs> <laughs>